What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live, talking about this upcoming DraftKings 9-gamer for NBA DFS. So this is already an interesting 9-gamer. We're pushing for the playoffs. A lot of implications are happening. <coughs> so if I were y'all, I would play it very light going into the playoffs because a lot of players could sit. A lot of players could just not want to play. Injuries, stuff like that. Injury management. Everything you could possibly think of, it's going to happen because it is playoff basketball coming up pretty soon. So before we begin, though, always, always, always hit the like button for me. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me out a ton. Yes, I know I'm on my phone again. I hate being on my phone. I want the camera going and everything. But I will tell you, it's going to get set up and it's going to be pretty set up nicely. But also before we begin, definitely check out this app called Hedge. I love Hedge. Basically, what you do is you have the buying power. You go how much you won it's basically for roundups if you not haven't heard of roundups go check out acorns acorns is kind of the similar thing about roundups i love hedge i love that you can basically make your lineups how you want to let's go to create new team you basically have the salary of a hundred dollars and you pick your players you can only do two at each position but you have a total of eight players so like i said i love going over these Slates, I think Malachi Flynn with all the injuries that are going to happen today, 1250 is a great price tag for him. You can look to a guy, possibly even like if we're going up to Trey Young. But for me, look at these power forwards. Only Sabonis is 21 and Giannis is 22. You have enough salary left over to lock in both those guys, especially with the injuries going to happen on the Magic. You can go to Wagner at $11. Those are just a couple plays that I really love on this slate. So definitely check out Hedge. Definitely use the link below. You can always use Prodigy for the promo code when signing up. I love this app a ton. Again, definitely check out Hedge. And let's go over this slate. So Clippers and Charlotte. So looking at this Clippers side of the ball, Paul Jordan and Kawhi. I'm going to Kawhi. 8-4. He's bound to have a bounce back game. I love him here. 39-42 for 34. He's bound to have a bounce back like I was saying. Go ahead and give me some Kawhi Leonard. Paul George, 8-7. I'd much rather go to Kawhi. Continuing with the Clippers, Marcus Morris. I mean, if you want to get crazy with value, I'm not really going to him, though. I'm not really getting to Pat Bev or Cousins. I don't trust them, too. So, for me, it's mainly just Kawhi or Bust. And then, looking at the Charlotte team, this is a tough matchup. But Lamelo Ball under 9K, I don't mind that at all. At 8-5, I'm definitely going to get some shares of him, even though this is a bad matchup. It's scary Terry, 7-7. Seven, seven. I'd much rather go to Lamelo Ball. P.J. Washington overpriced, in my opinion. The other guy I do like even more than the wall ball is Devontae Graham. 5'9 for Devontae Graham is a great play. I love the minutes that he's getting. I love the usage rate that he's getting. 5'9 is a too cheap of a price tag for him. Milwaukee and Indiana. Giannis and Sabonis. Lock and low both of those guys. I mean, it's Westy 2.0 with Sabonis recently. I love Sabonis here. Karis LeVert, 8'9. I don't mind paying that for him based on how he's been playing. He's been on a hot streak. I love it. I'm chasing it. Give me all of Karis. Middleton and Holiday. I much rather get to Karis LeVert. TJ McConnell, 5'5. Five, five. I don't mind going to him. Bobby Portis, Steve Vincenzo, Brooke Lopez. No, thank you. But the interesting news is this little group. No Lamb, no Sumner. If Holiday is out, I'm going to the other Holiday brother. Plain and simple. Give me 4 1 for Justin Holiday. Give me Doug McDermott at 4 5. I love both those guys. A ton is value plays. Orlando and Atlanta. <coughs> so Trey Young, 9 1. He's a contrarian GPP option for me. I think he can do well here, but again, just be careful because I want a lot of Sabonis and Giannis in that matchup. And then Clint Capella, 8 5. I think he can smash here, especially with no possibly no Bomba. So we could look at that. If you're looking at Bog, I don't mind Bog, but he's very scoring dependent. And then Cole Anthony is 6'9". He's getting overtaken by RJ Hampton. So no thank you for me. If there is no Mo Bamba, then it's going to be one Wendell Carter season and Wagner season. I love both those guys. Philly and Miami. We need to watch the news on the, both of these good teams. This is a huge stepping point of the slate is this Philly and Miami game, in my opinion, just based off of injuries. If there's no Embiid, I'm going right back to Ben Simmons and Tobias Harris, even though Dwight Howard busted last game. With no Embiid, I'm going right back to Dwight Howard. And then if there's no Butler, then I'm going to Bam in a smash spot that I love. I love Bam and bio here, 8-6. You can look to possibly Tyler Hero at 5-5. Five, five. He's been on a crazy slate. I love him. I love his upside. Kendrick Nunn, 5-2. Goran Dragic at 5-1. I love both those guys a ton. 
So definitely just wait and see what's going to happen with this, both these teams. That's going to change a lot. San Antonio, New York. So San Antonio, um, Murray, 7000 I like the price tag for him. I don't, I don't mind going to him at all. You can look to Pirtle at 5-4. I don't mind him as a value again and a good matchup. I don't mind that. Julius Randle, 9-4. He's in the smash spot. I love Julius Randle here. And then going to Sacramento and Memphis. So with these teams, again, injuries, injury, injuries are going to be key. If there is no Joe Val, I'm going to Tillman. I love Tillman here, and I love Brandon Clark. If there is also, if Joe Val's in, I'd rather just get to Joe Val or nobody else. But either way, though, I love Jay Morant. I forgot to say that. I love Jay Morant either way at 8-2, and he's a great price tag. And looking at the Kings, DeLon Wright, 8-1. I love the price tag for him. You can certainly get to a lot of shares of him. And that's basically just who I'm mainly looking at. And maybe some Terrence Davis off the bench. And then Toronto and Chicago. <sighs> out, 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 out. Literally. So, it's going to be scrubs for this team. I love Toronto, though, as a value team. Malachi Flynn, 5'7", I like it. Looking at Bimbry, 4,000, I don't mind it at all. Jalen Harris, 3'8", I like it. I mean, Kim Burst, though, is the only odd man out that I don't really like at the price tag. And I hate playing Gary Trent with guys like him who are just very scoring dependent. But he could easily break the slate. Plain and simple, if his shot's falling, he could easily get you 40 and break the slate. So I love Toronto. On the Chicago side, it's this Vucevic mainly for me. There's not a lot I want. I might get to more Patrick Williams also, but just because of the blowout run I think is going to happen here. So you can look to him. And then Denver, Minnesota, Jokic versus Towns. I'm going I'm going with Sabonis and Giannis as the two studs I want. I mean, I can see Towns doing well here, and I can see Jokic doing well here also, but I'd rather get to those two studs. And then D'Lo, I like that at 7-8. That's a great price tag for him. Nothing really else I like. And the last game of the slate... Portland and Phoenix, two teams I don't really want a lot of. I think it's Dame time, though. I don't mind Dame. I don't mind going to a guy like Nurkic in a smash ball. I like that at 7-2. You can look to a guy like Anthony as a value, but still, that's kind of scary. On the Suns, not much I want. I'm kind of just full-on fading this team. So, that wraps up the slate for us, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Hope everybody has a good and safe rest of their day.